But my name is Mike Acuna. I'm here from California, uh, Los Angeles. And I'm not in high school. I'm actually doing um, Basico, the uh, fifth through eighth grade. And this week, I've been observing slash discipline. <laughs> uh, I, I found that the school system in Chile is very different than in California or even the rest of the states. Um, the main difference I see is that in the um, Basico level, the students have their own rooms and the teachers are have to go from room to room and room. Uh, just from being there this week, I've seen that this is a huge problem due to the fact that it, it seems to feel that the kids own the classrooms mm -hmm. and the teachers come in or into their space that they um, have delegated to themselves. And that's a problem because there's no discipline in the class. Uh, I've seen kids taking a test where they're talking, where they're cheating, where they're just not even, they don't care about the test and their score. It's, it means nothing to them. And talking through, or talking with all the rest of the teachers during snack time and lunch, uh, they said, you know, a big problem is with the parents and the fact that there's no motivation from the parents for them to do well in school, to learn English. Uh, a lot of the kids know that they're going to go and work for their parents or for money and not go to high school, for example. And I believe the number they gave me is that 50% of the kids in my school go on to the next high school, which is obviously a huge problem. And so, I, the, yeah, that's the biggest thing. It's just that the kids have their own class and the teachers have to move from class to class. But um, it's been definitely very stressful, especially with the eighth grade students. They tend to think that they're adults and they don't care about what we do and it's just very disrespectful to us as adults, as teachers, whom they should respect. So I'm hoping with my class to, to build some disciplinary walls, I guess you could say, for the students. Uh, for example, I've already had to throw a student out of class. I've already thrown away food from students. I've already put students facing the wall. <laughs> uh, I've had students stand up for long periods of time. Uh, you name it, I've done it so far within three days. And I am here to show them that they are here to respect me. Uh, I don't put up with that. Those are my rules. And they have to abide by them. So that's what I've been doing this week so far. Uh, it's it's definitely going to be challenging, but I'm up for the challenge, and I look forward to the rest of the year, and, and hopefully motivating kids to learn English. Um, that's what we're here for. So, you know, just end with it. Your country is very beautiful, and <laughs> uh, hopefully you guys will be able to visit the States if you have not already. So, thank you. What school, what school oh, are you at? Uh, Bosque? El Bosque. El Bosque. You are a full-time volunteer? Yes. All of you are full-time volunteers? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. good luck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I need it. <laughs>